Praise God, praise God. Welcome once again to Vision of Truth Outreach Ministry. This is yours truly, Evangelist Jerry Thompson. I want to thank you for tuning into our broadcast week after week, day after day. And I want you to know that Vision of Truth Outreach Ministry is a ministry where nobody becomes a somebody. Today, this Saturday morning for Saturday morning prayer, um, I'm getting a special phone call. I'll be doing a radio interview and I want you guys to be in on it. All right. So right now I'm about to call the radio broadcasting network in the United States. And uh, this will be a, a prayer towards those who have been lost, a special prayer for those who have been lost as a, a result of first, uh, first responders and nurses, doctors, everyone that is first responders. So here we go with the call, praise God. All right, I'm gonna put you live. Praise God, woman of God, this is Evangelist Jerry Thompson. God bless you. God bless you, Evangelist Thompson. Reverend, it's a pleasure to have. We had you on maybe two years ago or a year or so ago. It's a pleasure today that you're on to cover the woman of God. But you know how humble she is, so I need you before you pray for her. Let the world know in a short who this woman is. I'm speaking about human children, about places she has been. But you can probably say better than me. Praise God. I just want to put a special covering on Hyacinth Cameron Henry of Hyacinth Productions. She has been an awesome and a phenomenal person in respect of first frontline responders. She is a nurse. I have known her to be a caregiver, loving, caring person. And I just want to ask God's special anointing and a blessing upon her life and all of the first responders out there. And for those, I want to also give my condolences to the bereaved and those folks who she has seen on Frontline who have passed. Iacint and Iacint Production has been there for me throughout, uh, I guess, for the last 15, 15 years. Uh, she has traveled with me. She's done so much. And I just want to give God's, uh, give her a special covering right now as we pray. <clears throat> Father, in the name of Jesus, you are God. You are Savior and Creator of all heaven and earth. Lord God, from the day that I ascend Cameron Henry was conceived in her mother's womb, Lord God, I know that there was a special gift given unto her, Lord God, to go beyond. And even if she has to walk, Lord God, with her car is not working, she takes the bus. And if the bus is not working, she walks. Father God, she's the only woman that I know that is always on the go. And every time you ask her, where are you going? I got to go help somebody. I remember one of the last person that she reached out to, Lord Jesus, was Gil Bailey, someone that was very loved in the community. She gave her heart to that man, making sure that he was comfortable before he passed. May God bless his soul. I remember there are many others, brothers and, and, and family members that she's traveled as far as Jamaica, as far as the UK, traveled all over the world just to give a helping hand, Lord God. I pray and I call upon the angel of light, the angel of love, the angel of God to cover this woman with the anointing of the Holy Spirit, to give her long life, to protect her through this hard and perilous times right now. I have sent Cameron Henry, someone that is born to do good, born to walk right, born to talk right, born to shine a light in a dark place, born to keep hope alive in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and declare blessing upon this woman now, Lord God. I declare that everyone and everything she touches, everywhere she goes, every word that she speaks out of her mouth, Lord God, may come alive that good may come of it. We ask these blessings in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning now and ever shall be your word Lord God is without end in Jesus name God bless you my sister God bless you 
Praise God. Amen. And before you go, we're on broadcast right now. Can you just tell what radio station and who you are and what you do, my dear sister? God bless you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Praise the name of Jesus. You just heard a woman of God that loves the Lord. She's been, I, I ministered in her church. I know you could hardly hear what she said, but I ministered in her church and souls were saved. People came to the Lord. And whoever you are out there today, we welcome you to Vision of Truth Outreach Ministry. Again, I'd like to say that my name is Evangelist Jerry Thompson. I'm saved by grace. I'm born again. I love the Lord, and I don't ask for anyone's permission to glorify Him, to worship Him, to lift up His name, and to magnify the mighty and most powerful and wonderful name of Jesus. Wherever you are today, I want you to know that God loves you. Wherever you are today, I want you to know that the anointing of the Holy Spirit is up on the earth. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, which is you and I. And all they that dwell therein, the cattle, the many mountains belong to God, all belongs to God. So when we lift up his name and we praise him, we do it in spirit and in truth. We do it because the anointing of the Holy Spirit is bestowed upon us from the day we were born. I thank God for such confidence because sometimes when you leave your home, some of us never get to come back home. Sometimes when we leave our home, we come back home angry. And there's so many dangers out there that is unaware of to us. But because of the love of Jesus, we're able to say, I'm gonna hold on just one more day just one more hour because help is just around the corner. I thank God for his love and kindness, his tender mercy. I thank him for forgiving me so many times of so many sins. And these are the times to reflect in your life and see that which you've been through and the wrongs that you have done and to acknowledge that without God, we are nothing. Without God, we have nothing. Without God, we have nowhere to go. Because some of us wake up in the morning and we live like we're never gonna die. And then we die like we never live. It's a shame. We need to stand strong and have faith. Today, I just wanna share with you some of the folks yourself out there who are calling in. You're calling in with words that fill my heart because you're telling me that you're listening. You're telling me that you're hearing. You're telling me that you're acknowledging. And these are just some of the things that you, the viewing audience, are sharing with me and let me know. And here is one, I, I don't wanna say the names because some of them are personal things that is addressed to the men of God. And I just wanna share and let you know that God hears your prayer. And as I pray for you and those who are going to be calling in, those as you hear these words that others are saying because of their faith that I'm not a healer, nor will I, um, uh, I cannot save you. Only Jesus Christ can save you. Only God Almighty can save us all. But the words that God speaks through me to reach your hearts is what compels me also to be true to you, to be right, and to make sure that what I say to you is nothing less than the truth. Because the position that God has given me, it's bigger than I am. But I'm happy to receive it because if God said it, I'm going to believe Him. So if you would like to call in for prayer as I read some of these prayers or some of these requests or some of these uh, notes, notations that people have sent in, please to call me on my WhatsApp number at 647-972-2121.
That's 647-972-2121. I will read this to you. Um, here's, the, here's what they said. Every day, Mr. Thompson, I watch you. I cannot stop watching this video. You change a lot of things in me with those inspiring words. God bless. Never ever get fed up of this. I will never ever get fed up of this. God continue to be with you. Brother, you bless me. I love the words. They're so powerful. God is using you. And please do not misunderstand. I'm not reading this to give myself in any way accolades because the Word of God says um, a little sleep, a little slumber. At least I call on you and you don't hear. I don't want to be puffed up. I want to be a servant of God. And if God says, speak of what they say, I must speak of what they say. These are not my words. I'm merely speaking from what people have received from the message that they've heard. And here's another one. So true. Amen. I'm listening. 2020. Heard this many years ago. Just finding out you on YouTube. Glory be to God. Please, for those of you out there who have not subscribed as yet, um, plain and simple, I make money when you subscribe. It costs you nothing. You've always wanted to be a blessing. This is your chance right now. You've always wanted to reach that young man that's hungry. You've always wanted to wish you could go to court with that young person who's in trouble with the law or with that elderly person who just would love to hear a kind word. All these things I do, but I do them with more um, um, support when you press subscribe. Because every time you subscribe, YouTube, I believe it's $205 a month right now. A month ago, it was $120. So now it's $200. Thank you for subscribing. Press that subscribe button right now. Right this minute. I'll wait. I'll wait. And, and, and I'll wait. And while, while, while I wait, I'll just sing this song. Be obedient to God. He will bless you. He will bless you. And he'll use me to bless you even more. You say you'd come here and share all my sorrows. You say you'd be there for all my tomorrow. I came so close to sin. promised you came here to stay I just had to pray your goodness so great I can't understand and there Lord I know that all this was planned. I know you're here now and always will be. Your love lifts my chains and in you I am free. Oh Jesus, why me? I know you are thirsty, you won't be denied. I felt every tear drop when in darkness you cry. Oh God, and I hope remind you it was from those tears I died Jesus 
I give you my heart and my soul. For I know that without you, I'd never be whole. Savior, you open all the right doors, and I thank you and I praise you from Earth's humble shore. Jesus, I'm yours. Jesus, it comes to the waters that stand by, stand by my side. Oh, I know you are thirsty. You won't be won't be denied. I felt every teardrop when the darkness you cry. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, to remind you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory of yours. We worship you, Lord God. We worship you, Holy Spirit. We worship you, we worship you, we worship you. Thank you, Lord God. Father, we love you. We're sorry for any wrongs we do in our lives. We're so weak, but through you, we can be strong. Through you, there's hope. Through you, there's peace. Through you, Lord God, I know that we can make it right. I know we don't get it right, but we can. Don't give up on us, Lord. God, don't be through with us yet. We trust you. That's why we reach out all the time. We constantly, I know, the same prayer we pray over and over and say, forgive us. Sometimes we feel like hypocrites because the same thing that we see you forgive us from is what pulls us down again. We give you thanks, Lord God. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise, Holy Spirit of God. We thank you. As I speak to every last person out there, I trust that wherever you're viewing this broadcast, that your hearts may just surrender to the Lord. And you may remember that God is in total control. And again, the frontline folks, I want to just let them know that God will cover you. As you saw, I just prayed for Iacin, an awesome and wonderful friend. Someone who has a heart for people and love. Someone who reaches out even when, even when it hurts. But oh God, I know that you will cover every last frontline person. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise. Come to Jesus. He loves you. Come to Jesus just the way you are. That's right. With that smoking problem, with that lying problem, with that addiction, come. He said he will take you just as you are. No matter what it is that you have as a problem, you've done so much wrong that you feel no one will ever forgive you. God will forgive you because he has forgiven Jerry Thompson, who was running out there with a 357 Magnum, thinking he was a bad guy on my way to kill a man. Why I put the gun down, you need to go on YouTube. And, and yes, folks, I want to thank you for subscribing. Thank you very much for pressing that subscribe button. You've blessed me today. You've blessed me not only with receiving me in your home and in your lives, but you've blessed me financially, which makes a difference. I just got a message that I'll be expanding on television in 92 countries. That's right. You've heard me, 92 
I'm on in Canada on CBN TV channel 798. I'm on the Now Network through the United States of America. I'm on Faith World TV in the UK and part of Africa. But God has blessed me. I was praying that I would have been on, um, uh, the, it's called, uh, what's the Flow TV in, in Jamaica, which would be reading if reaching the 14 Caribbean islands. I saw that as a big achievement, but God says, my son, because you humbled yourself, what did I say? Because you humbled yourself, my son, I'm going to give you something bigger. So give God the glory, and for those of you who, who've subscribed, you're helping me to pay for this TV airtime, because if you're getting blessed, then your life, I'm going to read some of these for you to hear the people who are getting blessed, then those people can bless, be blessed also. But you must subscribe, press that button, be obedient, be blessed. And I know that you're going to have testimonies. You're going to have testimonies of how God changed your life when you started listening. One lady called me the other day and she said she heard one of my stories because she watched me on YouTube. She's addicted to those broadcasts and she said she don't stop watching them. And she says, Reverend Thompson, you've opened up places inside of my heart that I've never known was there. She says, you've touched me in such a way to know that you're such a normal, down-to-earth man and God has used you so mightily. To know that you couldn't read or write or even spell your name at the age of 10. To know that the only schooling that you had was up to your grade 12. You don't have any bachelor degree. You don't, didn't do university. You didn't do college. You know, all you did was high school up to 12th grade. And when I found out even that, I found out that my 12th grade was actually grade 10. So I did an ICS course to further myself. What I'm saying is that real winners never quit and quitters can never win. It's always better to try and fail than fail to try. Folks, never give up because God is there with you. I'm going to read some of these. Here's one uh, from, from uh, Monique. I'm just going to read first name. Just love listening to you, praise God. And it looks like it's a young person, maybe about 25 years old, praise God. And um, Cherry, I'm just going to read the first names, praise God. Bless God, hallelujah, true, my brother. Say it again, my brother. Not true. Uh, this she's doing it in Patois. She's have lots of smiley face. I love you, brother, with the love of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank God for Jesus, hallelujah. This girl loves God. Praise God, she says, Jesus, preach it. No, brother, hallelujah again. Jesus, amen, excellent. God knows. You understand? You may not have all these words as she's spoken, but you have a few words. Share them. God will hear you. When you say hallelujah, you're saying you receive it. When you say amen, you're saying it is finished. I, I receive it in Jesus' name. So be blessed today. Glorify God. Here's another one. And 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 Brother Brooms, uh, Ivy. I'll just say Ivy. My family was there listening to him. And, and, and lots of him being me. Lots of people, including myself. Oh, this was a particular concert that I did. And they went to that concert. So she's merely telling me. I think this concert was in Grand Cayman. Um, lots of people, including myself, find ourselves crying. There was not a dry eye as, G as Jerry was confessing his sins. Lord, he hits, he hits us all down. I think of my son. What if or is or were, Lord, save us all and our children. Hallelujah, Lord. I believe and I need this motivation message this motivational message lord amen praise god so if god is motivating you and this ministry is motivating you please hit that subscribe button because it shows that 90 percent of y'all that watch don't subscribe and many times it may say because one lady told me that you know when she hit that button it says oh we're gonna know everything about you everything you do and so on no 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 there's no such thing because there are people that are even put nicknames and they don't even know the real person's names and they still subscribe. So subscribe, but be yourself, be honest in the sense that you don't have to put what job you do, where you work, how much money you get, where your bank is, all of that. None of that rubbish, okay? Just, just, just subscribe right now. I'm gonna hold and I want you to subscribe. I'm gonna wait. 
Praise God to Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm waiting. Praise God. I, the reason why I'm telling you to do this, I know the blessing that comes with it. So later on, you're going to be so happy that you did. You're going to be so, so happy that you subscribe. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So praise God. Praise God. Folks, excuse me one second. Praise God. I'm going to edit that out of the, <laughs> I'm going to edit that out of the broadcast and the television but when you're on air at least we know that we can we can walk off and so on. I want to give you perfection. I want to give you the best cleanest sound that is possible because I truly believe that when you serve God you ought to give your best. And your best might not measure up to others, but it's all right. God sees and knows your heart. He knows who you are. <laughs> Praise the name of Jesus. Here's another one from uh, another program. Um, Who God hire, no man fire. Not true. What manner of pasta is this? Praise God. And this is to do, this is Marjorie, and this is to do with Grand Cayman because, you know, the truth, some people don't always know how to handle all of it, but I believe what she was saying is that finally there's somebody there just telling it like it is and I know some folks have been upset in the sense when I say upset now I'm talking in the sense that when you are on fire for God and you're sincere you're so eager to be truthful you're so eager to be real and not many people can handle it and real when you think of where I'm coming from guns drugs pimping and all that and then I speak the truth about my life it's hard. Some people, oh, I don't want him around my kids, or I don't want him, oh, I gotta watch that boy, or, and, and, and you go into the church and you're scrutinized that way, and it's unfortunate, but remember, the pastor's got a big job also, because he's responsible for his flock. So if he sees a stray flock comes in, that stray flock's flock needs special attention. And I don't, I'm not gonna be, have any writ against the, the man of God, but it needs to be dealt with delicately because one day I'm going to share testimony as to how my journey in the church as a born again Christian and how um, my greatest place that I got hurt was the church. And if I didn't really have God and I was truly deeply born again and holding on, as they said, running for my life. Uh, saved and sanctified, Holy Ghost filled water baptized, Jesus on my mind, running for my life kind of Christian, I would have let go. But nobody deserves to steal your salvation. Don't let nobody do that. In Jesus' name, I decree and declare that you receive back that Holy Ghost filled water baptized Jesus on your mind. Keep God because God is all you got. When everybody else forsake you, he will never forsake you. So don't put him down because a brother put you down. Don't put him down because a sister left you. Don't put God down because you have a hard time in your life. Who do you think gave you life in the first place? Who do you think lift you up? Who do you think pulled you up by your bootstrap? You're not of yourself, but the Christ that dwelleth in you. Wake up, church. Wake up, people. These are perilous times, and it's no time for play. Oh, oh the church, brother. Oh, I can't take them. And those are Christian. I don't want nothing to do with church. I'm not going back. Shame on you. God ain't that simple. God is an awesome God. He's not somebody to be shoved off because somebody treats you rough. Think about who you treated rough at some time. Everybody rejected you in the bank, rejected you when your, when your checks bounce or, or, or the mortgage company or somebody when you mess up. You would not have that home right now. You wouldn't have that car that you have right now. So wake up and be real. Don't dish out what you can't take. And if you dish it out, make sure you can take it. Praise God. I'm going to read some other stories here. Uh, this is Judy. I love you, Reverend Thompson. I love your video. It's real. It's strong. Uh, glory to God. The Lord bless you. These are others. Honey, uh, here it is. Sherry, honestly, this is the best policy. May God guide and protect you. True, true. Bless God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here's another one. 
Sherry, thank God for Jesus, my brother. Christ richly bless you and your family always. My prayers are with you. Be strong and keep on keeping on. And that is a powerful word right now that she's given. Be strong. Keep on keeping on. If people are pouring water on your head and you're, and you're drowning, just be strong. Just be strong. Don't give up. Praise God. I'm going to sing a song after this. I'll just do a few songs. Evangelist Jerry Thompson, Phyllis, I just came across your program. I'm very impressed about your teaching and about your teaching and preaching. Keep on doing what? What you're doing. Let no man stop. I'm proud of you. Keep me in your prayers. God bless. And that's just to name a few folks. I want to thank God. I, I, a young man called me. A young man called me about three weeks ago and he says, Reverend Thompson, I'm from... I think it's a small island. I forgot the name. Please forgive me, young man. I think he said, uh, is it? It's not St. Kitts, Navis. I'm going to try it. I think it's Trinidad or Barbados. And he says, I'm 21 years old. And I was like you. I was the guy with the gun. But I heard your testimony one day. And I put my gun down. I'm 24 now or something like that. And I'm still serving the Lord. And I'm taking all my test this testimony to all my friends. And they are also listening to your testimony. They think you're cool. And I want to be in touch with you. The other day, he put a, a young lady on his, uh, uh, on his uh, picture, where he put the pictures on the WhatsApp. And uh, I didn't know who this young lady was because I, I have to be very, very careful who I communicate with online because um, the police, like I said, God will save you. God will protect you. But protection really just only comes from God. See, because the police wasn't able to lock me up when I was young and when I was doing wrongs, um, at times there's flashbacks. And because I understand personal space, something you need to teach your children also, personal space. If somebody comes close to you, and basically as far as you can stretch your arm to, to hug yourself, and he comes past that, it's personal space. If anybody takes, tries to take that away from you, you have to learn to protect yourself. And I've learned personal space because of what I do. I speak to children, I speak to parents, I speak to all types of people all over the world. I speak in schools, Think uh, I speak in, in, in rape victims' homes. I go to like Windsor Girls' Home for rape victims all over the world, different places. And if I didn't know personal space, I could have been um, uh, accused of some sort of a sexual act. And because I'm coming from the background that I am, it would be easily believable. And as you know, I've had that experience already and I've gone to court through it. So I have more than learned my lesson about personal space. But it doesn't mean that at times the police isn't gonna try to um, see if you still remember personal space. So they always do a little test, you know, like when you, when you have a fish tank, every so often you have to test the water to make sure the temperature is right and make sure that it doesn't have any fungus in it, fungi in it or whatever, or make sure it's clean. So that's what they do. So when I see a young girl, 15, 16, or, or even 17, on, my, on the profile, I normally just delete it. I'm sorry, and sometimes it's your daughter or your your, your niece or so on, and you put it. I, I, um, these things just remind me of where I'm coming from, and it's all about where I'm going. You see, it's not how close you can get to sin without sinning, but how far you can stay away. You understand, and I, I mentioned that before, you can't be partially pregnant. You're either pregnant or you're not pregnant but I do my best to stay far away. And when I see young impression of a young woman, I do my best to make sure that there's a clarity and an understanding and make sure that 
Um, oftentimes what I do is I have a pastor, uh, a, a woman of God, an awesome woman of God with integrity, Hillary Salmon, and I usually let her speak to them when they call me about delicate things and so on and so forth because sometimes it's of a sexual nature and it's, 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 it's not that it's uncomfortable with me speaking to them but because of the experience I've had in the past I steer clear of it or have accompaniment by a woman with integrity and a woman of God and I am saying this to you personal space learn about it understand it that you ought to always make sure that nobody takes that from you. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, always, always be careful of what's going on out there. So when I saw that picture with that young man that he sent, I asked him about it. I said, I was surprised because I didn't, I wasn't sure if this was you. I almost, I almost deleted your number off, off the phone. And he says, no, that's just one of my friends, you know, uh, or family or somebody. You know, but she looked young, so I figured I, that was a red flag for me. And it's good when you can have a red flag because it just shows you that you are now wise. You're not going to be bitten twice. They said once bitten, twice shy. And I don't want to be that guy. So praise God. I'm going to sing a few songs for you before I go. But this message basically was just, uh, as you heard, I prayed for uh, a, a dear, wonderful friend of mine, I sent uh, Cameron Henry from the United States, she's on front line, she's, uh, she's a nurse, she's out there saving lives and risking her life. Um, she uh, deserves to be featured, she deserves to be heard of, because when she passes, which we all do, the Word of God tells us it's appointed unto man once to die and then the judgment, but it's, it's good when you can um, recognize uh, somebody for the work that they're doing and the bravery of who they are and what they do. So praise God, um, the young lady, I told him that and he said he was just his friend. And we talk from time to time. We text a lot to each other. I have over um, 5,000 uh, friends on Facebook and there's another two to 3,000 trying to get on. Uh, that's why I said, please, for those of you who are out there, subscribe to Vision, Vision of Truth tv.com that's v i s i o n o f of t r u t h dot tv tv.com that's vision of truth tv.com and if you'd like to speak with me please call me at 647 972 2121 the call costs you nothing i will pray with you and I will share with you. And please, if you call me, you don't get me. Just leave a message. Oftentimes, I try to keep up to my calls to the best of my ability. Um, as you know, there are issues with phones everywhere. Uh, sometimes I believe that they control everybody through these phones. And at the same time, feeding your radiation that is messing up your whole being. And that's why with the uh, 5G coming out, as you know, be aware and steer clear. It's not just the COVID-19 uh, or uh, uh, this thing that's epi <coughs> uh, pandemic, uh, epidemic that's killing people. It's all types of things. People are still dying from violence, violent crimes. Uh, there are many people that are home right now that are getting abused. They're dying for people to get back to work because that means that they get less abused. So we're praying also for you. We're praying for you. And that lady that called in and asked for prayer for her three daughters, for her daughters that are nurses. Yes, I remember you. Uh, the woman that called uh, uh, also asking for prayer for her uh, nephew and her cousin. Uh, also, this young man um, lost his father and his attitude has, has, has changed so badly. It's just sliding to the worst. There are a lot of people out there, folks, that are experiencing some terrible, terrible times. It's almost like they're in a dream and they're waiting to wake up. And then they wake up and find out it's not a dream, it's real. So please be more courteous, be more caring, be more compassionate towards others because this is the time for it. If there's ever any time to be good right now, it's now. Now is the time to show that extra um, care because there are a lot of people afraid. Some of them are terrified, they don't want to leave their home. 
So I want you to be aware and remember when you go out there, protect yourself, wear your mask. Um, at this particular time, uh, try to uh, stay at home as much as you can. Um, and as I say, stay at home, I'm gonna sing this song, uh, one of my own that I wrote, entitled, I'm Glad to Be Home Again. Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Come on. Yes, I'm glad to be home again. Can't really say where I've been. Said I'll search the world over and I've done most things. Now I'm glad to be home again. Oh, Father, oh, Father, won't you please let me in? I'm so sorry for the things that I've done. I've wasted my days and nights in sin. Now that I'm home, won't you please let me in? I'm glad to be home again. Can't really say where I've been. Said I've searched the world over and I've done most things. Now I'm glad to be home again. Oh, Father, oh Father, won't you please let me in? I'm so sorry for the things that I've done. I've wasted my days and nights in sin. Now that I'm home, won't you? You have to be thankful for the home that God has given you. You have to be thankful for the loved ones that you have, because if you didn't have them, you'd have no one to fight with. You'd have no one to talk to. You'd have no one to relate with. My son and I stay home here, and we play dominoes. We play so much dominoes. It's unbelievable, but he's a pro, so. But it's, it's about family. It's about loved ones. I've searched the world over, and I've done most things. Now I'm glad. Father, oh, yes. Come on. Eh, 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 eh. That's what they call a scout. Eh, eh. Ooh. E. I'm happy in the Lord, folks. I'm just so free. I feel so good. This is so much better than when I was out there. Messed up, hiding, always wondering when I hear my door knock hard. Who is it? What is it this time? Do you understand? I'm free in Jesus. I thank God for salvation. I'm thanking God also that it's real. Salvation is real, folks. Please, don't abuse it. Give God thanks and praise. And going out, please remember to subscribe to Vision of Truth, TV.com. Yours truly, and please tell a friend to subscribe also. And if you'd like prayer or someone to talk to, someone to pray with you, please call uh, toll-free on my WhatsApp number, 647-972-2121. May God bless you. May God bless you. And remember, email me at visionoftruthtv at gmail.com. That's visionoftruthtv at gmail.com. Or call my number, WhatsApp at 647 972-2121 and please remember to subscribe at visionoftruthtv.com bye bye, till next time